morning. That hair. Guys, I'm gonna be doing a little 30 days series. So first things first, wake up in the morning, 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, we're gonna go for a run. We're gonna take this little guy. Hey, look at his little bed. Look at his little, hey, you mad? You mad, bro? All right, before I do that though, I'm going to see what my sleep was like. Um, one of the big things that I haven't been doing well um, is recovering. I have my whoop, which helps me not only look at my day strain, helps me track all of everything that I'm doing, but also helps me really look at my recovery and see where I'm falling short. So I fill out the questionnaire each morning. Uh, you know, did you have blue light blockers on? Did you have any stress in your life? Did you consume any caffeine? Did you stretch? Did you share your bed? Did you engage in any sexual activity? Um, so I fill all that out and then it, it pretty much based on my, my heart rate, it knows when I'm sleeping um, and puts all that in its algorithm and gives me a, basically a recovery score. So we're gonna do that right now. So looking at how I slept last night, seven hours and 40 minutes of sleep. I don't know if that's time in bed was nine hours and 40 minutes. Um, that's, I don't know if it really, I was up at three for about 30 minutes trying to stretch and then kind of up at six. My respiratory rate, about the same, so 14.6. Anyhow, so it, it takes a look at all of my, you know, everything that I do. And as you get, as you get better with the training and everything else, it kind of learns, your body learns, like, you know, you can follow trends to see exactly what, um, you know, you, you need to be doing. And then it gives you, like, if you want, it gives you your sleep coach. So I get to choose, I wanna perform tomorrow, and then you can select what time you need to go to bed. So I need eight hours and 22, minutes of sleep if I want to perform tomorrow. If I want to peak tomorrow, I'm going to need nine hours and 22 minutes. Um, so I got to get to bed earlier, which is hard because I talk to Morgan at night, um, but it's something that I love looking at this data every day. It's definitely, you all right, bro? You all right? So the goal today is to get a decent workout. Um, it's going to be a chest workout, uh, chest triceps, and film a little leg Christmas video. You guys will see a little bit more about that. But right now, start off the day, 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, and a little run with hops. And then we'll go for a bigger run right later today. Let's do it. Okay, push-ups, we're gonna try to do sets of 50. That already felt easier than the 50 I did on video and it's just been a couple of days of doing push-ups. Sit-up time. camera that I film on but the one downside is the battery dies so often so we're out here warming up for this uh well we're gonna walk a little bit then we're gonna see how he does running I did this uh two days ago with him and uh he ran about a half mile and I was like uh -uh, and just pulling against me so he starts off hot let's see how he does come on let's go oh you're showing he's showing off for the camera now Starting to fall behind a little bit. Start, oh, you see, he sees dogs. He sees dogs. <laughs> That'll get you sped up. He's such a tough guy. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Such a tough guy. All right. For this race, we're going to just put that fluffy hair away. Uh, this, I don't want to get people asking. This hoodie and these track bottoms or these joggers or the venture set um by far my favorite set for just lounging stylish hanging out good for walks i wouldn't do like track workouts in them i would do speed collection if i'm gonna do that but for a nice 
cold day or a sunny but cold day it's got this you know nice nice and warm almost fleece material and then i like this detail it's both on the top and bottom so this is the venture you ready to race okay this is coming off three two one Komodo dragon, you little bat pig hippo. You're so freaking cute. You wanna go to the gym? You wanna go to the gym? Let's wipe your mouth first. Got to fitness culture. What am I wearing? What am I wearing? Ugly Christmas sweater. So we're gonna be filming a little Instagram. I saw this dude doing the creepiest dance to this everything's better in a Christmas sweater. It's a leg day, so. We're gonna be showing that every leg day is better in a Christmas sweater, but just because it's leg day, it doesn't mean we're not doing push-ups and sit-ups. Did them this morning. We're gonna do them again right now. Basically, I'm gonna wake up, knock out 100, 100 during my workout, 100 at night, at least hit 300, and then I'm gonna step it up each week, 150, 150, 150, to pretty much we're going to hopefully, right around New Year's, do well, we're gonna do over a thousand, but we're gonna hopefully bring in some other people. That's gonna be in a vlog to come. Okay, push-up time, 40 pound vest. Here we go. One, two, three. That's better than I thought. 50 push-ups with a 40 pound pack on. We're definitely gonna smash it. Where I was really weak, I thought was those sit-ups. So uh, we do crunches in the morning or, or sit-ups, depending on how you wanna say it. I'm not a huge fan of sit-ups for actually abs, so um, one thing I used to do back when I was bodybuilding is I would just start every single warm-up with three sets to failure on a decline sit-up. Well, not every workout, I wouldn't do it with legs, but any upper body workout, I would do three sets to failure on this decline bench. So that's what we're gonna do. Keeping my hands on my collarbone. Oh yeah, if you guys didn't see, felt festive, might delete later. So fitting, it's so fitting. Oh. Abs definitely. My ab strength, my core strength definitely has ways to go. I was scrolling on Instagram the other day and uh, saw this super creepy but super funny video with this guy talking about how everything's better in a Christmas sweater. So I've been wanting to do it to a leg video. Um, it's gonna be on Instagram and this is the song. Everything's better in a Christmas sweater. How creepy and perfect is that? <laughs> Push day. The legs are feeling like they got a little bit of a pump because we were doing the ugly sweater dance stuff, but uh, push day, chest, some shoulders, and triceps. It's gonna be a great day here. Um, what I've done actually, so I'm, I'm using basically the Fitness Culture Swole program as my go-to, but I don't know if a lot of people know this. Up in this left-hand corner, or right-hand corner if you're looking at it, um, you can change it from 90 minutes, 60 minutes, to 30 minutes. So there's no shame in the game going from 90 minutes to 60 minutes. That's what I'm doing today. Um, partly because I'm still getting back into the gym. A 90 workout, a 90 minute workout right now would just be almost counterproductive from where I'm at. So going 60 minutes, I'm extremely sore from my back workout, my pull workout the other day. Like last night I woke up, couldn't put deodorant on this morning. Literally, last night I was in bed, 3 a.m., woke up, Charlie horse in my back, so Morgan didn't know what a Charlie horse was. I called her up at 3 a.m. because it was like 9 p.m. her time. No idea what a Charlie horse is. Apparently, that's an American term. Alex, you know what a Charlie horse is? I literally have no idea. Definitely an American term. So, a um, little bit of a warm-up. We're gonna jump into bench press, working off a one rep max, which I'm ba basically guessing at right now because I'm just getting 
back into it. So here we go. shitty man bun just had to get the hair out of my face and that headband wasn't doing it um, I'm, I'm adjusting my maxes basically because because of COVID so my previous max is 385 I'm gonna work off a of max of let's say 350 um, after I do this whole military challenge we're gonna be getting into a challenge it's gonna be like bigger faster stronger I don't want to tell you what it is yet but it's gonna have along the lines of more bench press stuff so hopefully if my bench press max is only 350 right now we're gonna go over 400 here eventually in the next couple months. But for working purposes today, I need something to work off because the app gives percentages. So I'm gonna be working off of 350 as my max. And I just entered that into the app. And here we go. Five sets, five working sets on bench press today. We're starting off with 255 for six reps. Basically, we have five sets of six reps. So heavy, relatively heavy. And uh, we're gonna go up in a percentage. So at the end, we're gonna be finishing up 82.5% of that one rep max. Um, let's get after it. Should feel easy that first one. First set should, set should feel easy. First set, easiest set. two down so the reason why doing push-ups is so beneficial obviously it crosses over to a bench press sixth grade bench press 185 in sixth grade uh, 225 I think seventh grade 285 eighth grade 315 in ninth grade or 320 and that was all because I did push-ups growing up so even if you can't bench press you're at home push-ups are gonna be key for that I, I love bodyweight exercises Air squats, pull-ups, sit-ups, push-ups, that gives you a foundation. If you're if you're a kid out there just wanting to get into the gym, don't know where to start, start with body weight stuff. Bench your body weight, push-ups, same thing. Pull-ups, that's using your body weight. Air squats, you can get good muscular endurance, especially muscular endurance, which is gonna be the foundation of good strength just with body weight stuff. two to go second to last set which means second to best set we got 285 on the bar it's moving pretty moving decent I'm getting stuck in some positions that just when you take a long time off you're not strong it's not smooth it's not fluid so I'm gonna really concentrate on coming off from that pec line pushing back up over my eyes keeping this position rather than letting this round and hitting that interior delt shoulders back boom Press up. Six reps here. Oh. Oh. I bet better. I bet better. All right. Last set, best set. Let's go. Set a lot more difficult than it needed to be. Next up, three sets of six reps on our shoulder press. So, beginning part of this workout is going to be a lot of lower rep stuff. Um, 
what we're going to be doing with these first three exercises is training them individually. So no superset with a bench press, no superset with this, no superset with our next compound movement. Then we'll get more into the supersets, a little bit higher reps. So really working on more strength stuff here. This is a great, this is a great day that will really translate well into the push-ups, anterior delt, tricep, and chest. So you think about those muscles that you're using, those primary movers, in that push-up, the chest, then onto the anterior delt and the triceps as secondary movers, if you're doing a push-up correctly. Um, all of them are gonna play a role in that, but this is a great way to build strength and then finish up with some endurance training, some muscular endurance, working up to 12 reps plus. So three sets here, I'm gonna stay one rep from absolute failure on all three reps. So not going all out balls to the wall, we do that systematically in fitness in the fitness culture app, where uh, if we're, we're in a, any specific strength progression, we're not gonna always just beat you up daily and go to failure every single day. That's not the best way to get bigger or stronger. So, one rep from failure here. dumbbell press. I'm going to do these at a slight incline, not quite 45 degrees, but we already did our flat bench press. So I'm going to really focus on squeezing, but at this angle should be working a little bit of upper pec in there as well. So with the dumbbells, I'm actually going to be doing switching up the grip here and really using a key press. I love the way it feels to finish in that supinated position. Um, lots of studies have shown reverse grip bench press and key press finishing that super that supinated position. A lot of chest activation going on. So we're gonna be doing that on here. Last thing we have here before jumping into all of our supersets. So we've done a lot of pressing so far. We're finishing this with this pressing movement. Last, last of real compound movement for chest specifically before we jump into supersets. Best thing about a push day, everything gets blown up. You get good shoulders, you get good chest, you get big arms because you're hitting triceps. This shirt is a winner too, I'm not gonna lie. This is one that I'll keep in the rotation just because like the pump that's making me look like I have. Here we go, last set, best set with disgusting man bun. Let's go. Time for some supersets. All right, first superset, it's gonna be for chest. We've got an incline, incline bench with the cables. So we're gonna be incline fly here. 10 to 12 reps. Biggest thing on this, I want to try to keep that angle in the arms the same. I don't want to bend them too much here and straighten them all the way here. Well, almost like I'm hugging a tree. We talked about that before. Supersetting this with dips. I'm just gonna go body weight dips here because I'm already feeling it. I'm gonna try to do it for my chest. We're gonna head over here. be moving on now again got to get this all done in an hour got to go run here afterwards sun's getting ready to set so we've done the 60 minute version on the app next up it's a tricep movement and a shoulder movement so we're gonna go over and do some lateral raises with some skull crushers skull crushers I'm just gonna do it off the bench with an easy bar here biggest thing on skull crushers I don't want your elbow stacked with your wrist I want to be slightly back up over your head and elbows almost at, I would say, 
mm, 70 degree angle there. We're not quite 45, somewhere between 60 and 70. So we're always having tension. We start doing this, tricep isn't engaged here. We're stacking everything on our joints. So in order to make sure we have constant tension on the tricep, we're gonna be slightly up over our head. I see people making that mistake a lot when they're doing school crushers. You're not gonna do it though. From there, straight into seated lateral raise. Again, push day, I incorporate medial head, a little bit medial head work. credit just because we've been working on those push-ups my my push muscles chest interior delt triceps aren't going to get more tired than this so it's no better time to go over there and knock out as many push-ups as we can train those muscles when they're tired when you're at 50 60 70 and you want to knock out a couple more push-ups so we're going to go overhead go over there knock out some push-ups Knock out three sets with three sets of toe raises to the bar. Work on those abs as well and uh, call it a day. All right, I'm gonna have uh, extra 23 pounds on my back here, just dead weight. <laughs> Perfect, I was gonna fail. <laughs> Thanks, bud. I appreciate that. You couldn't lay down on my back, but you laid down right in my face. Okay, so for the ab portion, instead of doing sit-ups today, we're gonna be doing strict toes to the bar. These are just a gut buster. So I'm gonna try to do them as strict as possible, keeping the body in a straight line to start with, nice and tight. Pretty much start off in a hollow hold, and then continue to touch your toes to the bar. You all right? Getting the hiccups. I think at everything, my abs are the weakest length right now. Nothing's great, but the abs I think are the weakest. So we got two more sets of each, and this is on top of my morning pre-workout, the, the sit-ups and push-ups I did in the ugly sweater, and then at night before I go to bed, under it as well. So just getting that muscular endurance back. Um, I will be taking off tomorrow completely. So today I'm pushing hard, gonna run as well. Two more sets, and then we're up on the mountain. I don't know if I can say that's the best push workout I've had in 2020, but it's the best one I can remember. Um, I think when you're focused and when you have a goal, it makes everything you do more purposeful. So if you don't have a goal right now, jump in and do this goal with me. Watch this video, set your calendar from 30 days from now and do this military challenge, this Navy military challenge with me. It's giving me a purpose to train. Every day when I wake up, I'm focused out there, almost like I would be for a little mini show. And I can definitely see it, see the results. I'm on point with my nutrition, better with my training. I'm still not where I wanna be, but that's what this progress, that's what this progress is all about. Because guess what, once I hit my goal, if I, can achieve what I set out to do, I'm gonna to want to push the bar after that. You're always gonna get better. So this is where the fun really happens because no matter what, you're gonna want more, more. That's, that's human nature. You gotta be happy with who you are right now, but never settle. So I say all this, I still have to go run, which is my least favorite part in all of this, being 215 pounds, 210 to 215 pounds, running is the hardest thing. So it's about switching on that mindset. You just gotta get through it. So meet you guys at the mountain. <sighs> oh, it's a good climb right there. So as you can see, 
there's an open part in the land just to the left of that far house. So just to the left of that far house, right where that truck's at right now, there's open land. That's what I wanna buy. Got the river in the back. Dogs can go swimming. And you can hike this every day. Oh, it'd be a good spot. All right, it's the last, last push. Last push. As a man once said, it's the push that makes the future appear. Oh, a little side winding trail and then up those massive rocks. We're nice and high right now. Again, there's my lot. That's what I want down there. So at the top here, oftentimes it's just like life. You get to where you think you are going. You get to, you get to where you have set that goal. When I was coming up here, I could see the, the top. When you get to the top, you realize, just like with a lot of mountains, there's a peak a little bit higher. So that is where we're ending up. There's a flag up there that you can barely see waving in the wind. That's the final destination. So a lot of times you think you're there, life says, no, 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 no. You gotta go this much further, which feels way harder than the rest of it because mentally you thought you were done. COVID, this, this whole being separated from Morgan, we went seven months. We thought we were done. Life said, no, no, no. Morgan got into LA, they detained her. Nothing her and I could do. Most helpless feeling in the world. They put her on a plane back to Australia. What can you do but just keep going? You can't do anything else but keep going. That is where we actually have to go. This is the top. The one that you couldn't really see. The one that was a little bit further than you thought. The one that made you ask yourself if everything was worth it. Let me tell you though, let me tell you something that you might not know. You see people, whether it's social media, in real life, that big house, that fancy car, those athletes, shiny watches, whatever it is that you think is success. I can tell you right now, speaking from some personal level of success, it's not getting to the top that makes you feel accomplished. Yes, the view at the top is nice. Yes, the things that come with being successful are nice, but nothing in here is going to fulfill you. No view, no watch, no money, no house, no Instagram relationship. None of that's gonna make you feel full in here unless you have been true to yourself. And nine times out of 10, the thing that is most fulfilling was coming up, was coming up that steep part, was getting through those tough things in life. And you don't know it while you're in it, but afterwards, after you're at the top, and you think, oh, this is nice. You know, it's, it's nice to, to see this view. It's beautiful, it's rewarding, but it's not the same. Any show I ever won or any amount of money I've ever made, that all pales in the comparison to what happens in here, to what happens to the real gifts, the real success, which is knowing that no matter what life throws at you, no matter how steep that hillside gets, if you keep going, you will get there. And it's that moment of where you wanna turn back and you wanna say, now nah, I'm done. It's you getting through that that allows you 
to feel that success. It allows you to, to realize that you are stronger than you ever thought possible. And when you get through something like that, that is the real goal. That is the real success, more so than any material thing, because you can't buy that shit. You can't buy that feeling of knowing that whatever you've done in life is because you persevered, because you had that steadfast mindset that nothing was going to stop you and that along the way you did it the right way you didn't step over people you helped bring people along with you that's the hard thing well, too often we want to cheat success we want to cheat take the shortcut route have someone else do the work for you and put your name on the paper and i have been there hell in seventh grade i learned that lesson when i put my name on on uh, the paper of some other girl um and even my life lately i felt like i haven't been putting in the work too often i thought ah uh, you know I, I i'm here on the mountaintop i've made it and you forget what it's like to have to climb and that's what changes you this this view those material things they can change you but usually for the worse it's going through that challenge day in and day out, repeating it day in and day out that keeps you hungry, that keeps you on that path of, hey, I'm sharp up here. It doesn't matter what I have. It doesn't matter what I've done. I'm not resting on that. So enjoy, enjoy the view, enjoy the things that come with success, but realize that real gift, that real nugget of value comes on that steep part when you feel like you can't keep going on. I'm going to take a minute. I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to turn off the camera. I'm going to think of what I'm grateful for. I'm going to run down that hill. I'm going to go over to that house that I pointed out earlier where my grandparents live. They're 91 and 92. They got diagnosed with COVID about two weeks ago. I got diagnosed with COVID five weeks ago. I did not see them during my time of, of COVID. I hadn't seen them for about four or five months since this all started. So uh, since they got COVID, I've been spending more time with them and they're doing okay. Tonight, I'm going to bring them them dinner where my mom has been staying the last two weeks taking care of them 91 and 92 years old been married 75 years basically coming up on that this year um yeah i'm gonna go over there and i'm gonna tell them how grateful i am for them that i have people in my life that help me help me get to where i'm at that taught me lessons that taught me the, what, what's really valuable so we're gonna buy them dinner we're gonna take them dinner tonight we're gonna serve them because serving other people that's how you stay grounded that is how you find that you know all the money in the world means nothing if you can't give back to people all the success so surrounding yourself with people that keep you humble and, and really remind you of what's really important in life let's go do that